Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to start off by saying it's been really hard lately to get the parts that I wanted. Uh, I was trying to order a Husqvarna fly screen, the aluminum one. It looks like a Captain America shield. It's over in the UK, but it's not in the US. Um, well, if it is in the US, maybe somebody knows where to get it. But uh, you can put the part number in on AOMC, which is probably one of the best places to try and find stuff like that, and nothing comes up. Anyhow, I ordered it. They said they had it in stock. Um, and then just yesterday, I found out that it's back ordered to like September or something. So I kind of scrapped that idea for now. We're going to do a little experiment today, and uh, I'll show you what we got going on. By the way, I have a part number here for you guys. Uh, remember we were discussing the mounting pin size, the correct mounting pin size? It is 19 millimeter. So if you order the stand and you order the mounting pin and you order the uh, V hooks for the rear and the spools and you get your spark pylon set up like mine, here is your part number. You can pause it, write that down. If you put this in on AOMC.MX, it will come up. And they're not very expensive. I think this was 11 bucks or something. But the 19 millimeter one is the way to go. You could sit on the bike and turn the handlebars. and Yeah, it's totally stable and set up perfect like that. So figured I'd share that information with you guys. Um, we have this box that came today. We're gonna unbox that. That's kind of what this video is about. But you're gonna have to stay tuned for the unboxing of this and two other items that are gonna be here on Saturday. So that video will be out either late Saturday or um, Sunday afternoon or Sunday morning. So depending on what time the other two boxes get here. But let's get this one open right now. These shipping delays and issues are so frustrating. Um, I really don't even know what to say at some, at some point. Anyhow, let's open this up. Uh, I will leave a link in the description for this as always. And this is kind of an experiment. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we're gonna find out. like we got a couple of mounting brackets um, some hardware it may or may not be stainless let's see here let me get a magnet Uh, yeah, it's junk. So we're gonna change the hardware to stainless. I have some stainless uh, hardware on hand. Uh, that's definitely not going on the motorcycle. This was uh, in the Amazon warehouse deal section. It was 22 bucks ship. So <laughs> if you're wondering, This is a plastic or Lexan or whatever you want to call it fly screen and uh, like some of these edges could be cleaned up a bit but for 20 bucks I figured I'd give it a shot they do have an aluminum one and um, I may get that that's a little bit more I think that's closer to $40 but um, I wanted to give this a shot to see if it would actually fit on the Swart Pylon. And so that's what we're gonna do today. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this zinc hardware. That's going in the trash. And we're gonna replace it with stainless. So let's do that.
Well, guys, I'm kind of uh, speechless. I am really surprised. For 22 bucks, you get a little piece of smoked Lexan. Um, the only thing I changed out was the hardware. Changed everything to stainless. Uh, I actually changed these bolts out to uh, some bolts that I had in my spare parts bin. They're uh, off of a Subaru. I believe they hold the uh, plastic under tray on. Uh, but I had two of them and they were the perfect length and I did put some blue Loctite on them. And um, yeah, so it fits surprisingly or scaringly well, depending on how you look at things. They actually rest against the little um, light stalk that sticks out. It's almost like it was made for it, strangely enough. Now, this is not a full-on windshield, but it it's supposed to create a fly screen, which is the air pressure won't be so great on your chest. It might be still on your helmet, but it's supposed to provide like a little shield from bugs splattering against you and whatnot. But um, yeah, I don't know if I could find anything better than, you know, 22 bucks. I will leave a link in the description for this. Once again, you are gonna wanna change that hardware out because it will rust immediately. Anything zinc coated that's standard steel is not good for a motorcycle. Um, I use quarter 20 stainless one inch bolts. It even provides a nice little shade for the gauge cluster. I, I really don't know what else to say. It, it, it fits surprisingly well. Um, and I may change it to something else down the road, but for now, heck yeah, I'll keep it. Um, it was scratched up a little bit, but I was able to get all the scratches out of it with some uh, Plastex. If you don't have any of this around, this is awesome stuff to have on hand. It does headlights, it does plastic trim, it does all kinds of stuff. Um, great stuff to have around. Been using that ever since it came out years ago. Yeah, now I just really can't stop looking at it. So it matches the uh, turn signal tint, the smoke lens on them. So yeah, awesome deal. Uh, I don't, I really don't know what else to say. Um, you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned. We're gonna get that unboxed on Saturday or Sunday or whenever the rest of the parts get here. And we may have some adventures coming up with Abel and some friends. You guys are gonna wanna stay tuned for that. And we'll be taking the mini bike out for the testing. If you have watched the mini bike series, I was able to find a color chain cover and it's, it's very simple. It's off of a Predator 212. And they sell them on Amazon and um, eBay. And you just gotta get the electric start version that does fit on a Tillotson, no problem whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> this outro is gonna be really long because I really like looking at this. Anyhow, um, enough of my rambling. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Uh, and this went surprisingly well, this episode. So for something so cheap that appears to work really well on this bike, I'm gonna keep it on there for a bit. You know, I can always change it out and heck, it was only 22 bucks, so. But other than that, you know, I hope you guys are staying safe. Leave me some comments, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, it really helps the channel grow and uh, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch us. Take care and I will catch you next time. See you later, bye-bye.